Hey, what's happening, money? This is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. In this project, I want to take a deeper dive into the mix blend mode. And more importantly, I want to talk about the differences between the screen and the multiply. The only real two effects that I'm going to use within this CSS property. I have this project here and these two different modes make the white brighter and the dark darker. But to really get a better understanding of how these work, we have to go back into the Photoshop world first and then come back into our CSS. I've got this photograph that I want to use in my project. And if we look back again on that project inside of Chrome, we can see the picture is our background image. What I want to do is I want to showcase in Photoshop the difference between screen and multiply. I'm going to drag a ruler down here just so we can find about the middle of our project. I'm going to create a new file and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some black color down here. So use M for marquee and fill this space with black or let's go black. And then at the top part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the top area with white. So I'll move this marquee tool up and fill it with white. The difference of these two, if we put screen up here, so let's just write screen nice and small. And we'll make it bigger or scream. How about screen? That looks good. And we'll put multiply down here. Of course, we have to change this to white. So we'll go multiply. The CSS blend modes correspond to the Photoshop blend modes. If we come down to the very bottom of this layer area right here in Photoshop, I'm going to first click on layer one. We'll call this one the multiply blend mode. And in here, I'm going to change normal to multiply. Now by default, it won't show up because there's no transparency. I'm going to hit five to change my opacity to 50%. The reason for that is the multiply, what it'll do is it'll multiply the darks to make them darker inside of your design. The screen essentially divides or makes the lights lighter. So if we go to layer two, we say screen blend mode, then we change our normal to screen. If we hit 50%, what happens is it makes the lights a little lighter. That's because the multiply works with 50% or darker and the screen works with 50% or lighter. And for extra fun, what I can do is add a little extraness. There it goes. So the screen becomes more of a layer mask and we'll drop it in there. So it's more of a cutout to the original picture. So now that we see those happening inside of Photoshop, and if we even try to use multiply on our darker color, it doesn't really work. There's not much really happening inside that screen. The same with multiply. If I try to use the screen, notice how we don't see any change. Now there are different options to choose from, but if you look at it for the most part, there's dark and multiply color burn, linear burn, darker color. These five options refer to a 50% or darker color and the light and screen color dodge, linear dodge and lighter color correspond to a lighter color. I basically never use any one of these. The only one I kind of use is the overlay and the overlay essentially does a multiplication and a divide where it takes the multiply and the screen. But nine times, actually 99 out of a hundred times, I'll use screen and multiply and really nothing else inside this list. That being said, I take the same approach when it comes to web design. If we head back to our project, let me hide Photoshop for a second. And there we go. And if I come back to my code, the reason why these two blend modes work is inside my masthead white. So what I have, oh, I didn't actually open up my code. Let's go to the index file. There we go. Uh, be careful. This is a lot of craziness at first. All I did with this project also was I added bootstrap five, just so I could add the mix blend mode in the center of the screen and the mix blend mode in the center screen down here using the bootstrap five flex. So what I really want to focus on right here is just the masthead white and the masthead black, which shows the screen and multiply. 
for these blend modes to work, as we saw in Photoshop, we come back here for one second, I had to add a 50% opacity. They won't work in 100 because essentially if you go, let's go 100 on this and not, oh, because I changed the blend modes to vice versa. When you multiply it, essentially you're multiplying it by 100, so you're blacking it out. So you have to add less than 100% opacity to your project for these blend modes to work. So what I did inside of my CSS, in custom CSS, is my background color is exactly the same as my Photoshop. I used RGBA, which is 255, 255, 255, and 50% color because the screen works with white or a percentage there of white. 255, 255, 255 is the RGBA equivalent to white. If we come down to the masthead black, I did the same, except I flipped the background color to RGBA with it being black. 000, zero, zero is equating to black, but at 50%. Note if I change this alpha to one and one, this would all fall apart. Notice because I can't blend these two together. The crucial step in the mix blend mode is having some sort of alpha to work with your opacity. I'm gonna flip back to 0.5 and 0.5 in here. Now what you also get again with these two blend modes is if we pull over there we go, Mozilla. It does show you that you get all these different options, difference, exclusion, hue, saturation, color, luminosity, and it's just exactly the same as Photoshop, right down here as well. Would I use them all? No. I basically stick to just screen and multiply, knowing that multiply is only used with a 50% or darker color, as in it can't be light, and screen works 50% or light. So I generally will use a white color to blend in with screen and a black color to work with multiply. And a result, the 50% and 50% results in a blending, oh, hello Mozilla, you can go away, of the colors of my design. Oh, and also the reason why I got 50% and 50% too is I have min height at 50 vertical height and min height at 50 vertical height as well. If you also wanna know how to use Bootstrap 5 to your project, I have some extra videos that correspond all to Bootstrap 5. As always, I'm Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes.